afternoon, my beauties, from the all new 2023 Universal Holiday Tribute Store. Now back in the Hollywood area, which I already have my opinions on it, but we're gonna try and dismiss those opinions right now because if you know me, you know I love the holidays and that's the only thing that matters. There's a lot I wanna cover. Already I've been told that there's a whole lot of Easter eggs, so we'll see just how many we can find in this vlog. I'm probably not gonna find all of them, but hopefully we can find a decent amount. And then of course, we're gonna check out all the merch that they got. Hopefully they have a decent amount in stock right now. Then of course, of course, we're gonna check out the beautiful, well, hopefully beautiful case line. We'll see. Now, as always, if you all enjoyed today's vlog, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell. So let's waste no time whatsoever. Let's head on in and have some fun. In we go. I am nervous. Let's crank up that exposure because I don't know what to expect. Studio shipping and post. So is this supposed to be like a mail facility or something? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we already got some Easter eggs up here. Oh, we got Marvel, Toon Lagoon, Jurassic Park, Hogsmeade, Lost Continent, Volcano Bay. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> it's so adorable. Oh, oh, I see a squirrel. I see a squirrel. Now, I don't really know what this is. I mean, obviously it's a candle, obviously, but yeah, that's that, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not at the museum, anyone? I just love how they have an entire wall of pretty much every single one of these types of plushes. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, look, they got the little minion. Okay, into room one we go. Oh, Harry Potter, huh? Oh, wow. What in the world? Okay, so is this supposed to be... Oh, this is the outpost, obviously. So now we can start with pretty much the same merch that we've had over the last two years or so. But you know what? Since we are getting a Christmas tree for our new place, I might cave in and get a stocking. And there's also nothing stopping me from getting really any of these ornaments. I mean, come on. Oh wow, we got some jigsaw puzzles, Gringotts Bay, what am I trying to say? Gringotts Bank Escape, you can't really see it. Dementors, Diagon Alley. This one I always see at Weasley's. What is this? Golden Snitch, Snitch Snatcher, the Quidditch game? Yeah, try saying that five times fast. What is this? Okay, this is like an interesting board game. For this Harry Potter, the ultimate movie quiz, um, containing 1600 questions starring all eight movies, the ultimate movie quiz will determine who the real Harry Potter fans. Oh, and of course we have Hedwig. Is this the one, is this the hand puppet? Yes, this is the Hedwig hand puppet. And it's almost impossible to turn her head. She's really cute though. For $82, we have a Hedwig lounge fly. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I think my mom would like that. Oh, and look, we got a little bit of Harry Potter home decor as well. Ooh, we got a serving tray. We got a pillow. Oh, we got potentially various candles. Let's see. Gingerbread, orange nutmeg, and what is this one? Frosted pine. So I keep giving the running joke that I'm allergic to pine, so this is going to be the first one that we smell. It smells like the mistletoe pines candle that they had two years ago when I worked at the tribute store. Still smells pretty good. For a crisp $70, we have a Christmas at Hogwarts. I'm just gonna call this a long sleeve shirt at this point. It's not really a sweater. It's thicker than most long sleeve shirts, but it's not thick enough to be a full on sweater. For a price that I know is going to be expensive, we have a Hogwarts blanket. Oh, oh, well that's actually really soft. That's very soft, I like that. We also have the same fake leather bags that we sold two years ago, but oh, these are new. Just little coin purses, that's cute. And if you're a PJ lover, not like myself, uh, you can get some PJs here. I mean, that's very soft and silky. I like that. And of course, we got plenty of chocolate frogs to go around. Like, way too many, honestly. Let's see, they have the candy that I like. Uh, the fizzing Whizbees. These were good. And oh, the exploding bonbons. I tell y'all, these taste like Dole Whip. It's amazing. Here are the Harry Potter plushes. <laughs> I just love Harry's little smile. <laughs> He's cute. And oh, they have the Gryffindor lion. I really should get this because I mean, I am a Gryffindor and this is also really cute. But see, here's the thing. If I wanted to get the more animal type plush, yeah, I would probably go for the Hufflepuff Badger because I mean, this thing is so adorable. And we got new shirts too for $70 a piece. I can vibe with these. These are nice. Yeah, all in all, room one, Harry Potter room, I'm impressed. I mean, obviously not as much as I was the last two years because mind you, with this tribute store, it's a whole lot 
smaller and that's my only gripe about it. But for what they could do with the space, they did a decent job. Okay, time for room two. Oh boy, Whoville Post Office. Who could have guessed? Oh boy, oh gee whiz, room two is huge. Dang, okay, so I already see some of the same merch that we've had, but I also see some new pieces. Whoa. Okay, I'm kind of overwhelmed right now. Like a lot more overwhelmed than last year, but not as overwhelmed as I was two years ago. There's a lot going on all at once. I know I said it before how I'm not the biggest fan of red, but for $80, we have a Grinch Spirit jersey. Oh, 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 I dig that. I dig that. Merry Grinchmas. I love all the sparkles on it. And we also have a Grinch long sleeve shirt. Anything on the back? No, it's simple. And I like that. But you know what? We're just going to ignore the whole queen and king of naughty. I don't think Universal really knew how that was going to play out. And two years later, I still say that this shirt thoroughly describes my life. I'm literally living in feast mode. Oh, we got some socks, hats, gloves, scarves. Okay, this hat is actually pretty cool. For $10, actually not a bad price at all, we have a Grinch cup. Definitely need to add to my cup collection at home. Oh my god, that is adorable. Oh my goodness, I can't believe Universal brought this back. We sold so beyond quickly two years ago. I'm sure it's definitely going to sell out just as fast, if not faster. For $65, we have this very fuzzy Grinch backpack honestly not bad just again very fuzzy so yeah definitely don't want to take this out in the rain dr seuss's tis the season holiday celebration i'm guessing these are just bedtime stories yeah literally just simple old bedtime stories i like it then we have some different statues figurines Ooh, we got a grinch stocking Ooh, and you can personalize it why not but what is this this is catching my eye feeling grinchy cookie jar what well i've been getting into baking cookies a lot more often recently so uh, maybe oh my gosh is that a oh that is an actual christmas tree topper oh my goodness i need a christmas tree topper i haven't gotten a tree yet not just yet maybe by the time this vlog goes up i'll get one but i do need a christmas tree topper but of course, it's no tribute store without the case line. Oh boy. Okay, they got a whole bunch of different stuff this time around. Well, except for some of the cookie dough balls, they still have the lumps of coal, which I should probably turn down the exposure if I want to show y'all. We also have the Christmas lights. What is this? Roast Beast peanut butter? Oh my god. See, it looks like we got a new Christmas tree cupcake. Well, ish. Like the same chocolate and green frosting, but there's a Grinch on it. So, I mean, it's kind of new. See, we got a Max cookie. We got some fudge. I would assume that's peppermint. Oh, the hot cocoa bombs. I forgot about the hot cocoa bombs. This is Grinch. Hmm. I'm curious as to what the flavor is. We got a Max chocolate. Okay, is that actual chocolate or is it a brownie? Let's see, we got a wreath brookie. Ooh. Who hash trifle cake. Oh my gosh. That looks surprisingly delicious, I guess. Oh my gosh, what is this? Grinch onion cheesecake tart. Jeez. <laughs> wow, that looks amazing, to be honest. I think last season we had a chimney cake but i think it was just santa i think it was um cookies and cream but this time around it's grinch and then we have new macarons the mini macarons not the full-size ones unfortunately but we got grinch pistachio max chocolate and cindy lou who strawberry cheesecake oh my gosh strawberry cheesecake i love anything cheesecake y'all should know that already oh my goodness the grinch jar cake with cookie jeez i'm more impressed with the fact that they just jammed a whole cookie in there over the jar itself but in terms of prices yeah this is what we're looking oh what twenty dollars for this jar cake um yeah no thank you i want to get something but what do i get all this stuff looks really really good but what do i get all right let's make our way into room three Oh, I see some nuts. I see some acorns. We're making our way into Earl the Squirrel territory. Oh, I'm sorry. What? For $8, we can get an Earl the Squirrel wax figure. Excuse me? So this room is basically going to be just our standard Universal and Macy's stuff. So we have the Universal Studios, Mary and Bright, Macy's Parade sweatshirt, hoodie thingy. I don't even know what people call them nowadays. But this, oh man. Again, not the biggest fan of red, but still, like just the graphic 
alone is enough to make me want to buy it. But I could also get this one in t-shirt form, and it's also like a pine green, if you will. This one, oh wow, I don't even care how much this is, I would buy it. And we also have pretty much the same exact ornaments that we've had year in and year out. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, it's weighted. Oh, okay, I was not expecting that. This is interesting, to say the least. And for $16, we have a Macy's Parade mug. I kind of have enough mugs at home for my tea, but at the same time, I don't think I have any holiday-themed ones. All right, I guess we're going into Earl the Squirrel territory. Oh, goodness gracious, what is happening in here? Whoa, okay, this is, this is a lot. This is a lot, to say the least. Oh, we're in Earl the Squirrel's house, obviously. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This is absolutely adorable. Wow. I, I am in love with this room. Only because it's Earl the Squirrel. Oh my gosh, she's still going with the whole merry and nutty motto. You know what? It's it's kind of growing on me, if you will. Wait, excuse me? The nuttier, the merrier? They have the Earl of Squirrel plushes. I, I need to get one. How much is it? $17. You know what? That's not bad, honestly. Here's that candle. The Earl's Tree Farm. This is going to be... Yeah, literally pine. It's a lot more pleasant than the Hogwarts one that I saw earlier. Yeah, honestly, I think I prefer this one. Like, this one is a mix of both pine and cinnamon. Yeah, this one is a whole lot more pleasant. And for $20, for $8 cheaper than those other candles, yeah, I'd probably choose this one. And of course, we have our APT for 27 bucks. I should probably hop on board. Oh, Earl the Squirrel's new girlfriend, huh? Man, Earl, look at you go. And we have a blanket. Oh my gosh. Let's see, how many do they have on the shelf? Four blankets. So, yep, I can already tell these have been selling. Oh my goodness. Obviously, the hat is fuzzy, so I definitely wouldn't get this because it would be way too hot to wear it's still cute because again earl the squirrel for 60 dollars, we have the same earl the squirrel merry and nutty hoodie that they had last year yeah i think last year they just had a huge overstock in these so they're still trying to sell them and for 25 dollars, i guess if you want a set of earl the squirrel earmuffs i mean why not i mean i would never wear these because it would just mess up my hair but i mean still cool these are probably the fuzziest socks i have ever seen but you know what if you know me you know i love my fuzzy socks oh and they have the little grips on the bottom oh man do i get these i feel like i have to get these then just coming over to the cash register area yeah more of these weird candle statues yeah i don't like that but all in all just the decorations alone that they have yeah i'm impressed and as we start to walk out oh we got all the christmas trees and earl the squirrel oh waving us all goodbye isn't that that one thing from loki okay let's make this quick and easy Let's try to get this thing out. Whoa. Now that I'm looking at this close up, it does not look half bad. I mean, it's literally the same thing they had last year. Probably just a different flavor though, but it still looks pretty appetizing. But now we get to, oh, they use twist ties, huh? Can we get this out without, shoot, I should have gotten napkins, you know? That, that would have been the bold choice. Oh, well, it's Christmas. Christmas time is about maybe making a mess. I don't know. Can we just set you there without you falling? Um, can you see all the frosting on my fingers now? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna leave a nasty stain. So, we got the Grinch Jim Jiminy Cake? Jiminy Crickets, Aiden. You need to learn how to speak tonight. We got the Grinch Chimney Cake. Now, of course, I have no idea what this is. I'm assuming it's going to be either chocolate or peppermint. I believe the cake last year was cookies and cream. Might be the same thing, I don't really know. But first things first, we got a little piece of Grinch white chocolate. Fish, fine for Grinch white chocolate. But what I'm really focused on is the cake. Oh, oh my gosh, that frosting is smooth. 
Thank you, Universal. Thank you for making edible frosting, literally. Not any of that thick, sugary stuff. And mind you, this frosting has little to no taste. But just because of the fact that it's basically whipped frosting, I will accept it. Oh yeah, I see chocolate in there. I can tell you that the cake itself, you know what, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna try and set you guys here. And I dropped my phone. Hopefully I didn't crack it, because if I did, that'd be bad. I just got this thing. Uh, that, that could work. That could work. Thankfully the phone is, yeah, phone's safe. It's fine, it's great. Try to get this in frame. Oh yeah, that cake is stale. It just doesn't really taste like much. Kind of disappointed, honestly. I mean, I'm not disappointed enough to toss it. Because I also haven't eaten much today, bear in mind. I think for what it is, it's a great idea. But last year's definitely a lot better. Because this one is just standard old chocolate cake and literally flavorless frosting. Yeah, I'm putting this at like maybe like a 5.5 out of 10. I'm not at all impressed with this. This whole thing is essentially flavorless. Like even just compared to the treats that we had for HHN. Because already, that case line was small. That was my first observation. They barely had anything. I would not buy this again. I saw some of my friends were posting about that trifle cake. Honestly, because if you know me, you know I love the Tribute Store trifle cakes. I should have just went for that. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this thing is going in the trash. Yeah, it was a good idea because again, they had it last year, but last year's just so much better. So right off the bat, I'm not really impressed with the case line. But in terms of the Tribute Store itself, I'm definitely impressed with it. With the space that they had and what they could put in said space, they did a good job, so thumbs up, Universal. Well, my beauties, that's gonna wrap it up for this nice little tour of the new Holiday Tribute Store. I'm definitely impressed, especially given the space that they had. They definitely pulled off a good Tribute Store this time around. Definitely the best Tribute Store that they've had in the Hollywood area, but I'm still gonna stick to my guns and say that the Tribute Store rightfully belongs in New York. So with all that out of the way, we do this every single week, so make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Alrighty, my beauties, I love y'all. Take care, have a wonderful holiday season, and I'll see y'all next time.